Hi. Today we will see a comparison between the two versions of the Flux model. Between the Flux Dev version and the Flux Schnell version. We see that there are very big differences both in the understanding of the prompt and in the quality of the images. Beyond that we will see how we can do in painting with Flux Dev. In addition we will try to create the same character with different facial expressions and we will see how we can reach a result quite similar to this thing. As usual, we will start at the beginning, a small update regarding the models. Today we have the ability to download these models, half of their original volume, thanks to Kajai. This thing can make it easier for computers that have a little less RAM. In order to work with these models, you need to download them and put them in the models slash unet folder. The other things like the T5XXL and the VAE are exactly the same as we saw in the previous video. So if you have already installed the previous version of Flux, you only need the models. And of course I will leave in the description of the video, the link to this page and also the link to the previous video, for those who want to see how to install all the other things. After you have downloaded the models and placed them in the Unet folder, you can use the original Flux workflow and simply select this model. All other things remain the same, as we saw in the previous video. Before we start it is important to remember that Flux Dev, unlike Flux Schnell, does not allow commercial use, and this is something that should be taken into account. Another thing to note is that the Flux Dev is adjusted to 20 steps, compared to the Flux Schnell which is adjusted to 4 steps. In the tests I did, I kept all the data the same, with the exception of two data, the type of model, and the number of steps, Flux Knell with 4 steps and Flux Dev with 20 steps. These are the only differences. The images we see have the same seed, the same prompt, and all other things remain the same. So let's start with the text for image. As you can see there is a very big difference between the Schnell and the Dev. Throughout this comparison, the images of the Dev will be on the right, and the images of the Schnell will be on the left. Here we can see the dune that is obtained, also in the result of the Schnell, the result is excellent in my opinion, but there is something a little more dramatic and interesting in the image of the Dev, but I guess it has to do with personal taste. Let's look at the image of the eye, all I took was the logo of the Pixel Easel channel, and I got this prompt based on the logo. And this is the image I got with Schnell. Exactly the same prompt in Dev, and you see that the qualities are completely different. A completely different reference, also in the atmosphere of the landscape, and in my eyes also in the combination of these binary numbers in the picture, more interesting. Throughout the comparison we are making, I will also leave the prompt below so that you can read it and compare to the result. I will not read the prompt so as not to make the video too long. If you need to, just pause and read the prompts and that way you can compare the understanding of the models in relation to the prompts we wrote. In this picture you can clearly see the photographic quality we get in Dev compared to Schnell. We have almost identical characters in terms of clothing and in terms of style, but in terms of the quality of the image, it feels to me that Dev is much more realistic and much closer to photography. And this is something I have seen throughout many of the tests I have done. Also regarding text I felt that the dev was more accurate. In the previous video we tested this prompt, a food stall with a pixel easel sign, and we saw that Schnell does a good job of referencing the text. But comparing the same prompt in the dev version, we get the text in a much more logical place. And in my opinion there is some kind of atmosphere here as well that feels more right to me. Note that we still have all kinds of artifacts, even in 20 steps under the dev model, so you have to pay attention and check the results. This image that came out is also relatively realistic in Schnell, but if we compare it to the image we now have in dev, then there is no doubt that dev gives us a more photographic, more cinematic quality. Also regarding the understanding of the prompt who should be inside a train. And in Schnell we get him as if he is sitting in the station and not really inside the train. Another interesting comparison to the problem we had last time with the Schnell, the fingers. In this picture for example, 
we see that we still have a problem with the fingers in dev as well. This is a little more correct, but it is important to remember that there is no perfect model yet. Probably in this case working with a different seed or maybe a different number of steps, the problem would have gone away. In this photo, an atmospheric photo for body cream, you can see that the dev's photo is much more harmonious with a very small depth of field, which gives a very photographic feeling and also quite realistic. In my opinion, the body cream text, which we see on the jar that came out in Chanel, is a mistake, because according to our prompt, we shouldn't have text on the jar. Once again, it seems that Dev's ability to refer to the text is better, and also the general direction is much more realistic and photographic. Here we already get something that takes the eyes even out of focus because in our prompt it says shallow depth of field which is probably a little too much, but in terms of the texture, and in terms of the qualities here as well, there is no doubt that in dev we get much, much more realistic results. I also checked illustration and in my opinion here too the feeling is that dev gives more depth, more richness and shades. If you pay attention here, to the area of the fingers, we still have some kind of disorder with the fingers. Here I checked what is happening with a lower resolution. This image is 512 times 768 pixels, and we still managed to get a very high quality image and of course more realistic. Chanel's result is also good, but if we look at the shape of the shoulder and the shape of the chest, then there is something more harmonious and more accurate in the composition in the dev version. One more example of resolution before we move on to the image to image comparison. In this image that I did my tests, I was accidentally on a resolution of 1216 by 1216, and as you can see, the result was very blurry. Probably with another seed the result would be fine, but with the same seed and the same prompt, and changing the resolution to 1024 by 1024, we get this picture. So remember that resolution and the ratio of length and width are still very significant from the point of view of the model. And this is true for both the Chanel and the Dev. Regarding the image to image, here too we have very significant differences. Here too, I tried to make the test as accurate as possible. Exactly the same data, the same denoise, although the denoise works a little differently with a small number of steps and from what I saw working in image to image with Flux Dev. There is much more freedom with the denoise. You can clearly see that there are very big differences between the images made in image to image with the Chanel and between what was done with the Dev. As we saw earlier, in general the Dev is much more realistic and much closer to photography. Of course there are photos here and there that I liked more than the result that came out with the Chanel. But in the vast majority of the results, the photos created in Flux Dev are on a different level than the results of the Chanel. I also checked the difference between the versions of the model and the most basic in painting. For those who don't know, the idea of in painting is to change only a certain part of the image. I will include in the description a link to a video that explains the principle of in painting. And in the next lessons we will dedicate an entire video to in painting with flux so you should subscribe to the channel and stay updated. When I tried in painting with the Chanel, I couldn't get even one result that came close to something that could be worked with, no matter what I did. On the other hand, as soon as I switched to the dev model, I suddenly got very good results that fit really well with the other parts of the image. As I mentioned before, this is a very basic in painting, you can see here just a marking of a mask on the face, and the addition of the word smile in the prompt, and we get our girl smiling. And the change seems to fit in seamlessly. In this example you can see a relatively extreme example that the model manages to work with very well. Take a picture of a woman with closed eyes and just open her eyes and get a quite harmonious result. And another little experiment I did. I thought that because Flux is very good at understanding prompts, it would be interesting to test a very detailed prompt, if only one or two words are changed in it. Maybe we will be able to get the same character, with a different facial expression. I used GPT, all in all I asked the chat to write me a description of a woman's face, 
that the description be relatively detailed. I defined to him in advance that I wanted to change her facial expression and mood between the different promats and keep the same character. And this is the result that the chat gave me. This is the format. There are two words here that change. The first word that describes the character's expression and another word that describes a general atmosphere. I very simply copied and pasted these prompts that the chat gave me. And as you can see, just changing these two words allows you to get a relatively consistent character with different facial expressions and mood. Once we have the same character with different expressions, it is also possible to animate the character quite easily. In our case, I used Luma, with two images with different expressions as a reference. There are many tools that allow this today. So I hope you learned, and we will meet in the next lessons. You are more than welcome to ask questions, comment, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.